Howdy guys, today I'm going to put some of the finest corrosion protection products head to head and see which one is the best at protecting your firearms from rust. On the table we have four products, each one has already won its own corrosion test that I found on different websites and on YouTube. Uh, some of these tests had 40 plus different products so there's a lo been a lot of testing done already just to get down to these four. The first one is Frog Lube, it's well known. It was uh, the winner of a test conducted by dayattherange.com. The next one is Ezox that won a test at the Gun Zone. The next one is Guardian LP, which lasted four times as long as its competitors over at 1911.com. And the last one we have is Corrosion X that won a video test done on YouTube by Blue On Gold Z. So you can see uh, these are already fine products but I'd like to narrow them down to see which one is the best of the best. And we're going to do this by putting them in a salt fog chamber. I'm going to make a time lapse video and we can compare the samples to each other to see which one held out the longest without rusting and which one had the least amount of corrosion at the end of the test. I have uh, steel samples. Each one is two by four and a half inch pieces of flat plain steel. Cut them from a single piece of bar stock and I'm going to sandblast them to get them down to fresh steel and uh, this will also simulate the blasted texture used on a lot of different firearms so let me go blast them and I will be right back these have been freshly blasted and cleaned with denatured alcohol so they are ready to be lubricated yeah. let's start with the frog lube but I'm going to heat this up because Frog Lube recommends you heat it up. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's uh, 122.5 about as hot as my hair dryer will go so we're gonna add some of this frog lube on there and turns very thin when it hits the hot metal okay so let me wipe that off it's got some of the cotton on there all right so we're gonna let that sit and do the next one. Okay, next one we're gonna do is Ezox, and I'm gonna heat this one up as well. I'm gonna heat them all up because I think it'll make the, t the test more fair instead of just doing frog lube. So I'm gonna heat this one up. And again, I'll cut back as soon as I get it up to temperature. We're coming up to heat here, so let's see where we are. 121 that's pretty good all right let me get another wipe there we go we're gonna put it on here directly spread it out a little bit looks like the blasting is grabbing up some of the cloth but I'll make sure and wipe that off So we're going to go for maximum protection here. I'm going to put a thin layer on to start with this heat and then I'm going to go back and add a thicker layer so we can get maximum protection. But let's just get this started, get the metal protected. Okay, that one's done. Move on to the next one. Okay, let's see where we're at here on this one. 121, it's good. Lubricate, you need to shake it. Just make sure it's open. I'm not sure if it's even open now. It's not. Hold on. Let's get that off. All right. Get another wipe. Put it on. OK. 
covers it well. And again, we're going to go back and add a layer afterwards. This is just to get the initial protection on there. Okay, next one. One twenty two, there we go. Okay, let's put the corrosion X on this one. Put a little bit on there. to uh, drag it across the blasting. Okay. That looks like good coverage. So these things have had a chance to cool down. I'm going to go ahead and add the second layer now. I decided to abandon using the cloth wipes and we're going to go with a, a lens wipe that doesn't leave any lint on the blanks. So we're going to go ahead and do frog loop first. Putting it on thicker to make it the best protection we can do here. And this is much better. It doesn't leave any any lint on the on the blank. Okay. Frog lube is good. Next is Ezox. Get it open. There we go. By the way, this stuff smells funky. It's got like a putrid sweet smell to it, but it does leave a nice dry film. And the uh, park rising seems to pick it up well also. Or the, the blasted finish. Sorry. Okay, that looks good. Next one is the Guardian LP. It goes on fairly thick. like you can put it on fairly thick so it's kind of nice maybe not put it on too thick but maybe wipe some of that off to eat, even it out but I would like to leave a solid layer just since we're going for maximum protection try to get it even Okay, that's pretty good. Try to get off of there, whatever you are. Get something blue on there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and last 
one. Trojan X. Put it on quite a bit on there. Also, a little bit of excess on there. I need to wipe it off. Okay. There, it's fairly thick. So there we have it. Now we're going to move on to the salt fog chamber and see who wins.